G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy. If you're new here, my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live and work on, the Wajuk people of the Noongar Nation. Uh, this is good, just going to be a short video. I'm going to talk about my new boots, the Parkhurst Allen boot in Dune Rafael. So this is the uh, Parkhurst Allen boot in Dune Roughout, just received today. Uh, I didn't do an unboxing because after a fantastically uh, sunny weekend, it turned out that we're going to have a whole series of storm fronts come through and the weather has been terrible. And having received these at work, I took them home, uh, got out of the car in the rain and the box is actually soaked. So I'm, I'm not going to bother to do an actual unboxing for you. However, I will show you what came uh, with the boots. They came with their uh, individual boot bags. This time, they're not, um, they're not, uh, they don't have the logo of Parkhurst on them, which is you know, the first time I've ever had Parkhurst boot bags that didn't have the logo. Uh, came with a spare pet, uh, uh, pair, pair of laces. Uh, the website does say that the laces, uh, that these come in are the uh, round wax laces and flat wax laces, but both of these are round, doesn't matter. Um, the interesting thing is, I, I, I'll talk about it soon, but I, I think I would prefer a sort of thicker lace on these things. And of course, Andrew's uh, thank you card signed by Andrew personally. So that's great. Um, in terms of uh, the boots, if we take a quick look before I put them on feet, and then I'll give you my first impressions of them in a little more detail. Uh, obviously a service boot, which is the Parkhurst Allen uh, patent model. Uh, in this case, it's in Dune Rough Out, which is a, um, I believe it's Spanish uh, tanned leather. It's full grain uh, veg tanned rough out leather. Um, the inside, which is normally the smooth side, uh, is not actually like a polished smooth uh, leather that you might get with a, say, a Chrome XL rough out. Um, it feels very much almost like new buck on the inside and then the, the, the rough out on the outside. Uh, the rough out, interestingly enough, uh, feels very short napped, like suede. So it's not a, a, a sort of knotty nap that you do get in some of the Pacific Northwest rough outs. Uh, the English, for example, I think will call this a suede rough out, uh, where it's really got a suede feel to it. In terms of construction, uh, the uppers are tanned, uh, veg tanned, in natural, with natural waxes and oils imbued into it, so it gives us a certain waterproof nature. Uh, it has a leather heel counter, uh, not, not a celastic one, a celastic toe puff though. Um, it has a, a, a cork filler and a steel shank, uh, veg tanned, welt veg tanned, midsole veg tanned, insole, so nicely, nice um, set of natural materials. The outsole is a day-night-like studded outsole but this one is a Parkhurst proprietary upsole. So um, for those of you who know, Parkhurst have recently, uh, coming out of the factory in Spain, uh, commissioned their own proprietary commando outsoles. And this in uh, fall winter 2023 or autumn winter 2023, depending on which part of the world you're from, uh, uh, has uh, the, um, the first appearance of the studded outsole for Parkhurst. The pattern is the Allen service boot pattern, uh, bright uh, hardware, um, really quite nice. Simple pattern, two quarters, the vamp, and a, sing uh, a single piece backstay at the back. It has an internal heel counter, which as I said, is leather. So I'm gonna put these on feet. We'll see what they look like and feel like on feet. And then I'll give you my first impressions. Okay, so I'll put them on and see what they're like on feet. Uh, gosh, the first feel is that the tongue is actually very thin. Not that there's a problem, I suppose, but it's strange because this is quite a sturdy uh, set of uppers. I'm guessing about two and a half mils or so in thickness, but the, t the tongue is definitely a lot thinner. Uh, the first impression is that they fit, they seem to fit a little larger than my other um, Parkhurst Allen boots. 
which is quite strange because it's exactly the same size as I take in my other Parker's Allens. But it is possible that this Dune Rough Out, which is a, you know, it's almost a suede leather rather than a sort of strict rough out with a scruffing a nap. It might be that it's quite a stretchy leather and so in the lasting of it, uh, maybe it, it was stretched a bit differently across the last than uh, in some of my other um, Parkhurst boots. Not, not big, I mean I can't say it's, um, it, it's very big, but it certainly feels a lot less snug in the toe box than my other Parkhurst Allens, even those um, that I bought recently that are from the Spanish factory. I can certainly feel the the toughness of the uh, veg tan midsole and insole because it is I do need to flex it to build it in uh, and to break it in properly I can also feel the the padding if you like of the rubber outsole uh, I can feel the firmness of the veg tan insole and midsole, but I can also feel that little bit of give, which I guess is the uh, cork filler. There is a steel shank in there, which does give you uh, the required arch support, I feel. Uh, in fact, the arch support, I think, is quite good in this. Yeah, the toe box definitely feels a little bit more roomy than in my other Parkhurst boots. It, it's not an uncomfortable feeling. I'm just feeling a bit roomy and perhaps I need to wear this with uh, thicker socks uh, than my others. It certainly looks good on feet. It feels nicely roomy on feet. So I'm, oh yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with the fit. It's different, but I'm very pleased with it. Okay, let's give a summary rundown. So um, that was the on feet portion. First impressions. Uh, they're a really beautiful looking boot. The rough out is a lot more suede like than I expected it to be being rough out. Uh, it has a quite a soft uh, and short nap. Uh, so it feels velvety rather than that crispy rough out nap that you can get in some of the rougher rough outs. I find the tongue surprisingly thin. It's a lot thinner. Uh, I think it's the same material but this is flipped the, the the right way around if you like it has the new bucky sort of surface to the front and then the more of the rough out on the inside but it is very thin it is semi gusseted up to the third eyelet so it that continues the parker sort of form of construction which um, I really like uh, the the quality of the stitching is pretty good there is a a little unevenness at the quarters where the stitches sort of part a little bit and then come back together so it's not clean and precise um, but there's certainly no missed stitches uh, it's it's quite uh, uh, very even stitching throughout uh, double stitch to keep the, uh, the heel counter in place uh, single stitch where it doesn't quite matter on the back stay uh, double stitch on the quarters uh, and the stitching on the split reverse welt with that little flare up the, the side of the boot is actually itself quite precise and the, um, the joining of the welt is very nicely done. Uh, it has a veg tan stacked leather heel count and, and uh, a rubber uh, topper to it. Um, first impressions. To me it runs a little bit larger than, than the other Parkhurst boots that I've had just by a tiny feel. I'm not quite sure why. You, you'd have seen if you saw my interview with Andrew, him saying that uh, the fit can actually be quite different depending on which factory it comes out of, depending on which uppers leather is used because some will stretch a lot easier over the last and sometimes depending on the person who's actually doing the lasting. I thought it might be interesting to compare it with some of the um, other Parker's boots I have. This is the uh, Parkhurst Allen in Dark Roast Dublin. Now it's a totally different leather but this was constructed out of the uh, Western New York factory and uh, it's also the 602 last 
and I think you can see the similarities of the last, with particularly in, in the toe there. But if you look at the toe box, um, this one is perhaps a little bit more collapsed because it's older, but there's definitely more uh, profile structure in, in the new one coming out of the Spanish factory. And that's quite interesting, I think. Um, in terms of sizing, I'll do what Dale does. They're both size eights and exactly equal. It's just that the lasting, I think, feels a little bit different. The other one I'll compare it to is uh, another Allen boot. This is the um, Gaucho Moose that, again, this one comes out of the Spanish factory. Again, it's a 602 last, so you can see the shape is very similar. Uh, if you look at the profile, this one's a little bit more uh, uh, lost its structure, but you can see that there is a similarity in that profile as opposed to this one, which has a, which has a flatter toe box in my, in my mind. So, you know, that's where the different factories and the different leathers come into it. Again, size, Spanish factory, Spanish factory. Yeah, just exactly the same size eight. You wouldn't expect any different. Just the feel is a little bit different. Uh, in terms of comfort, I think this is as comfortable as any, any Parkhurst boot, whichever factory it came out of, whichever Parkhurst era it came out of. Uh, I don't mind the studded sole. I think it gives reasonably good grip. And this sort of pattern and model, I think, um, harks back to the US Marine uh, boondocker boot of World War II, particularly in this color and this rough out. And it, it, those had um, a non-commando sole anyway, so it looks quite, quite nice to it. First impressions, I really like this. I like the color. Um, I, I think the laces are a little bit thin to go with this sort of rugged looking rough out boot. So I'm going to play around with maybe flat wax cotton laces, which are a little bit broader, or I might even put in some uh, leather laces and see what that looks like. Um, otherwise, definitely a boot that um, I've always sought after when it first came out a few years ago. Um, I missed that one, so it was good to get this. Thank you to Andrew for sending it so quickly. Uh, and we'll uh, wear this for a couple of weeks to break this in, and then I'll keep wearing it in my rotation for maybe a few months, and I'll bring you a full review at that point. So I hope you like this little quick video on a semi-unboxing and my first impressions. Um, if you like the video, you know what to do. Uh, click on the like button and if you're not subscribed there are a lot more boot review videos that I bring to you with a lot more detail about the construction and the history of the boot maker so uh, click on the subscribe button so take care and I'll see you soon